This is an issue that is fast becoming a major platform topic. The history of political affairs, campaign funding and the trimmings that accompany it, particularly during election season, is perhaps one of the biggest and best kept secrets. But then there is also the question of ethics in the use of these funds, as well as the source from whence it came. Recently, political leader of the ruling party, Prime Minister Patrick Manning, hinted that political parties should be made to disclose the source of their funding. But even within his own People's National Movement, the question can also apply. Some time ago, a series of full-page coloured advertisements appeared in various newspapers, boasting about his government's performance while in office. The question now is where did that money come from and what is there to ensure that state funds are not being misused to promote political gains? Today, we spoke with Secretary of the Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute, Boyd Reed, and his contention is that government ads about its success in office can indeed be tricky, to say the least. Nevertheless, he says the fact that it is the government and perhaps not the political directory that is in power could make a difference. But the question remains, how will the electorate know the difference? Well, it's, it, this is a tricky area because the government, you know, remember, it is the government that is actually putting out these ads. It's the ministry of this and the ministry of that that's putting out these ads, which of course is public funding, it's public money that they're using. But it is the government. And in this country, maybe we don't always distinguish sufficiently between the govern, government and the party in power. But it is not, it is not, the, it's strictly speaking, it's the government that is putting out that money. So how do you distinguish between what is legitimate advertisement of the government of what it's doing for the country, uh, you know, which is, which I think it has a right to do, and how you distinguish that between that and the, the government, the party that is in power, actually using this as an opportunity to get, um, you know, well, to get ultimately to get votes, you see. Um, there is a form of uh, what 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 I what I think is is uh, it, it can be um, um, a, the, a bad way of financing your campaign. It is not. There's a lot that needs to be questioned in it. And while the question may never be answered, Mr. Reid agrees that it is certainly wrong for the political party in power to use state funds for political gain. But how you actually draw the line, how you set the rules in such a way to prevent it is something that, again, needs to be discussed. It is certainly wrong for the state, the, 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 the party in power, to make use of public funds to further its own particular interests. And that is, so that would need a lot of a careful thought as to how you could sh clearly show what is right and what is wrong in these particular circumstances. But uh, right now, there is no regulation, there isn't thing that covers that, and so I am, there, there is the possibility of serious abuse going on there. Adonis Bala, Guile News.